Okay, here's our integral. I have to do this integral without pausing the game before I beat the boss. This is difficult. So. Last integral actually was much nicer than I died, so <laughs> it's like with this awful inverse trick one. Um, so we could use the fact that arc cotan x is arc tan of 1 over x, and we could do the substitution where we could use that. Um, that's my first idea. I have no idea what that was. Okay. Um, I have an idea for the left one, for the left side turn. If we do an integral of our parts, then where we integrate one of the x and differentiate arc tan, then we're going to have minus one of the x squared times one of the Probably park with fractions there. Yeah, yeah, definitely could park with fractions there quite easily. Uh, so that's an option for the first turn. So what would that give? Minus octan x over x squared. Uh, plus octan x over x squared. My, where does the minus sign go here? Minus octan x over x squared. Plus 1 over x squared times x squared plus 1. And x squared, x squared plus 1 gets partial fractioned into 1 over x squared plus 1 minus 1 over x squared, no, 1 over x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Because then when you do that, yeah, definitely that. 1 over x squared obviously just integrates to minus 1 over x. And the other one integrates to octan. So I'm pretty sure that's the answer to the first one. And then we do the, the bounds. So octan of root 3 is pi on 3, I think. Unless I'm getting my year 10. Hopefully not. Uh, the second term poses quite an issue though. I'm not really sure how to deal with that. Um, okay, Jesus, this is quite this is tricky. This is a tricky interval. So, uh, I'll write down what I've got for the first time in a second. I did not intend to do that at all. <laughs> or that. Let me heal. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Yeah, there we go. That was pure luck that I did not get hit there. So, let's recap. Arctan X turns into minus. Because when you 
integrate the x square will fit up. So when we define hit x. No. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. one on x squared and one on one plus on x squared. So it's just minus yeah, that that could be right. Might just be that, okay. That's interesting. So we're gonna substitute u equals one over x. No idea what to do. Let's go. Um, okay, I meant to dash there. I think I would be able to do that. I don't I was looking at the integral there. <laughs> Cotangent of x, one of the definitions of this is that 
tan of A equals cotan of B if A plus B equals pi on 2. So This should give an identity here. x equals arctangent of like, you know, a, a equals tan x, and a also equals cotangent of pi to minus x, which means that inverse cotangent of a equals pi on to minus x, x equals inverse tangent to a. So I'm pretty sure inverse tan x plus inverse cot x is pi on 2. I think. If that's the case, that's an insane simplification. Because then the answer is just pi on 2 log root 3, which is pi on 4 ln 3. feeling about this being the correct answer. So that's, that's wrong. Uh, I can't erase it though. That's close enough. 1 over x dx equals... No! Okay, I need to pay attention. <laughs> I really don't want to die. That would be really sad.
full health so I can be aggressive now. I think. I'm actually so nervous right now. I don't want to have to do another integral. There we go. Okay. I would like to have more health than this. But this, is, this will do. the mouse is actually right. Okay. <laughs> if this is wrong, I'm going to be so sad. Let's have a look. Yes! Okay, it is correct. I'm so happy. 